dive into Jesse's treasure trove, where every piece speaks mysteries. Jesse's oddities beckon. Get yours today. Hey guys, it's Jesse V. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys about a very mysterious creepy entity called the Ticket Taker. Now, this is something that appears to people at their local cinemas. So you're not safe watching right now. This thing could be at your theater. And I know I did a video a couple years ago about a game called The Theater, but this actually has nothing to do with that. This thing is a totally separate entity. Before I get started though, as you can see, I have a new backdrop behind me. I love it. It's so spring. I love the colors. We got snakes. We got a moth. We got crystals. I love it. So I'm going to announce the winner of last month's backdrop. That was over on our podcast channel and the winner is Chloe Sinclair JT5KJ. Congratulations. And if you would like to win this backdrop, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, my Jesse V channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to my Instagram. It is also Jesse V. Give it a follow and DM me the snake emoji, or just like comment it on a photo. I will see it. And I'll be announcing the winner in a few weeks. I also want to mention that we have restocked our Just Align dolls. This is going to be our last launch. I mentioned before that when we first launched her back in October, we had a ton of hiccups with shipping. This is because we were partnered with another company so we weren't shipping the dolls ourselves, but we have now taken full ownership over Jessa line. So all the shipping is on us, which I'm so excited about. All the dolls are currently in our warehouse, ready to ship, no pre-orders, no delays. They are ready to go to your home right now. She unfortunately won't be coming back after this. So if you would like a Jessa line to keep you safe from all of the creepy things in the world, I have linked her down below. We have also launched our Easter mystery boxes, which contain three golden tickets. It also contains the biggest tubs of slime that we've ever had. I'll insert a clip of me playing with it because it's so cool. And the cap actually comes with pieces that you put into the slime, so I love it. Jelly boba, apparently it's scented. So each slime comes with a pack of something to put into it. So we have our little bobas. This is so satisfying. Wow, it's like water. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, it smells so good. This feels like actual like liquid. <gasps> Zoom in. Get, get right in there. Enhance. Get right in there. Look at that. Look at that. We also have bunny sleep masks, pillow spray. We have skincare and bunny makeup headbands. We've got the cutest plushy keychains. And then we've got our super wiggly flying heads. You throw these, they go for miles and they're so cool. So if you guys would like one before they sell out, I have linked it down below. Okay, so let's talk about the entity, the ticket taker. So back in the fall, people started talking about the ticket taker. Like I said, people say that he hides in your local theater, but upon further investigation, apparently this thing has been around for the past 13 or 14 years. The first instances being back in 2009 or 2010. So I would have been in the middle of high school. A number of people have tried to draw what he looks like and he appears to be a vaguely humanoid figure with large staring eyes and an oversized mouth and teeth bared. And he always seems to be shown in the shadows. So his actual full body can't be seen. It's mostly just his face. And because we mainly just see him drawn, it's almost easy to assume that he's just a creepypasta. We don't actually have to worry about him. However, someone did find a very old post from 2010 on a forum. It shows this photo of a theater as the credits are rolling and this poster says, I thought you guys were kidding, but I just saw him tonight. Never going to my local cinema again. This creep was following me the whole time. And here's the actual picture. If you look at the far right, you can see a strange figure walking down the aisle with a pretty sinister face face. Now this is the only actual photo of him that we have and one that shows his entire body. People think the ticket taker is attempting to blend in or just disguise himself as a human service industry worker. Now there are some reports of people actually interacting with this entity. They said they witnessed something taking their tickets at the movie theater. Something that didn't quite look right. In one case someone said they saw graffiti drawn at the back of their local cinema depicting the ticket 
caretaker and this graffiti says the movie is starting with his very creepy face. One reported incident happened in the spring of 2010. We know this would have been the date because the incident happened in a theater that was showing the fourth Shrek movie, which is called Shrek Forever After. The couple arrived at the theater, purchased two tickets, and they went to enter one of the screening rooms. They were then approached by this shadowed person who reached out and asked them for their tickets. Now, here's what seems to happen after you hand him your tickets. He will tell you that you're in the incorrect screening room, and the film you are intending to see is playing in another room somewhere else in the cinema. He will invite you to go with him to that other room. So you have a choice. If you stay in the intended room that you first walked into, everything will be fine. You'll watch your movie as planned. But if you believe and trust him and follow him to another cinema, you'll sit down and you'll witness the screen light up with a classic cinema countdown clock. And then you'll hear strange laughter echoing out of the projection booth. It is not known exactly what happens after this point because the people who claim this happened to them left the screening room as the countdown hit its final number. They got scared, they decided to leave, which was a good choice. But they did note that as they exited the room, they looked back and witnessed the ticket taker's face taking up the entire screen. There was another report from late 2009 when the movie Avatar came out. A group of friends went to the theater intending to watch it, but when they arrived, they saw that it was sold out. The only other film that had tickets available was one that they had never heard before, and it had a very gruesome title. Apparently this random film was called The Beheading, which I would not want to see. I don't know about you guys. But against better judgment, because it was the only movie available and they all really wanted to go to the movies, they decided to get tickets for it. And just like the other account, this strange shadowed man came up to them, asked for their tickets, they gave him their tickets. He took them to another room and they watched the screen light up with a cinema countdown clock and they heard laughter from the projection booth and they all ran out of the cinema and later found out that that movie never actually existed. No surprise there. What's creepy is that not only can you run into him at the cinema, apparently you may also get an email from him. There was a report from someone that received an unsolicited email disguised as a ticket exchange service. And so the slogan of this email was trading old tickets for new ones. And this email seemed relatively normal at first, but it also came with this mysterious attachment. It was a JPEG file, which when opened, revealed an image of the ticket taker. Someone else was buying tickets for a movie online using their phone, and after they did, they suddenly found an app installed in their phone without their consent. The app appears to place the ticket taker's face on the phone's home screen, and it cannot be deleted or removed, and the effect of this JPEG and this face on people has not been determined. We don't know if anything happens to them after they see his face. And don't worry, me showing you won't do anything he has to actually send it to you himself. So we're all good. Don't worry. We're just doing research here. It is said that the ticket taker is currently loose in the world and is not contained in any way. He should be considered a great danger and should be avoided at all costs. Now I'm kind of freaked out because I am going to the theater in the next seven days, uh, sometime in the next week. So if I see him, I will let you know if I live to tell the tale. <laughs> anyway, so guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget if you would like to bring home Jessaline, I have linked down below along with the Easter mystery boxes, but I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Children lost, ensnared by a witch's binding spell. Jessaline, the awakened soul, yearns to escape and find a new home. Dare you join her and explore more?